Hi everybody, I'm Rob Wingford from TheBeardedTrio.com and this is the very first episode of Rob's Ramblin' where I just talk about anything. And this week I've decided to talk about the Amazon Dot and how good is it if you're a fan of John Williams, Steven Spielberg or George Lucas or a fan of movies or geek stuff, how good is the Amazon Dot? Well, let's... um. Let's take it for a road test and see how good it is. So the very first thing I'm going to do is ask it to play some John Williams music. Now, the Amazon Dot, if you're not too sure what it is, it's um, obviously from Amazon. And this is a cheaper version of the Amazon Echo. There's no uh, big speaker built into it. It does have a speaker built into it. Um, but it's not the big one, which you pay like £150 for. I'm not sure how much it is in the in, uh, United States, but over here in the UK, it is £150 for the big one. And this one is £49 for £49.99. I've seen this as low as £35, but this is the latest version of it, the latest generation, and this one is £49.99. Now, what you can do, it's basically like having... Um, the uh, enterprise computer in your room, but not as sophisticated, unfortunately. It's good, but not that good. But if you've got the power of Amazon Music behind it, or even Spotify, because it's compatible with Spotify, then you can have some real good fun with the music. Now, um, to give you an example, as a John Williams fan, I'm going to ask it to play some John Williams music. Now, I will say that... It has given me a 50% hit rate between John Williams, the composer, and John Williams, the guitarist. So let's see how good it does today. Alexa, play music by John Williams. Shuffling songs by John Williams. Now, <laughs> so there we go. So there is a bit of a drawback if you're a John Williams fan. There is a 50% hit rate between the guitarist and the composer. Now let's try something else. Alexa, stop. Alexa, play music by the composer John Williams. Shuffling songs by John Williams. Alexa, stop. Now, I will say that when I did this before and I said, Alexa, play music by the composer John Williams, and it's going to do it again because I've just woke it up. Shuffling songs by John Williams. Yay, nice one. I like you like. Alexa, stop. So as I say, in the past, when I've asked it to um, play music, by the composer John Williams, it's ignored the composer and still played the guitarist John Williams. So I think we've been pretty lucky tonight. So two out of three, we've got the composer and one, we got the uh, other John Williams. So the other thing it can do, which I quite like, is that you can ask it to play specific tracks. So for instance, one of my favorite tracks is from Jurassic Park. So Alexa, play Journey to the Island. Oh, let's try that again. Alexa, play Journey to the Island. Journey to the Island, from the Jurassic Park soundtrack, by John Williams. I like you like. <laughs> Alexa, stop. So there you go. Um, you can also, which is quite clever, if you're into the, uh, a particular song and you don't know the name of the song, you can ask Alexa... Um, to oh, I keep forgetting it wakes you up. So if you know some of the lyrics from the song, you can ha ask um, this thing <laughs> to um, find out about it. Let's see if this works. Alexa, what is that song that goes, there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. Alexa, stop. So that's quite impressive. I like that. Now, one thing it does have a problem with is if there is a particular name in the track. Uh, it doesn't seem to do do those particularly well. And I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my favourite pieces of music by John Williams is from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Forks the Phoenix. Uh, let's see if 
uh, Elixir. Play Forks to Phoenix. Fox in the Phoenix by Cobra Finn. Alexa, stop. And um, no matter how many times I've tried her to, to play that one piece, uh, she really struggles with it. So not very good with particular names in uh, in tracks. Uh, the other thing I noticed as well, it has the power of Amazon Music behind it, but a lot of the times it will play um, uh, uh, not the original version. Uh, let's try this. Alexa, play Duel of the Fates. Duel of the Fates, from Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, by the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra, John Williams, and Paul Bateman. Alexa, stop. I could tell straight away that wasn't the original version. It wasn't a bad version of the City of Prague, but it wasn't the original version. And I'm pretty sure that in Amazon Music, if I browse on uh, my Amazon Music on the on the computer, that the original soundtrack to Phantom Menace is actually there. So um, it's not bad. I mean, I also have uh, a playlist on my Amazon Music, uh, a John Williams playlist. So you can say, uh, Alexa, play my John Williams playlist. Your playlist, John Williams. There we go. Alexa, stop. And then you can also ask her to play the next track, previous track, or even shuffle as well. There's also, you can control the volume by saying Alexa, volume seven. And then you can see that on the blue LED there, we'll show you the volume control as well so other things that you can do with it as well moving away from music is um you can uh, ask um this thing i won't say your name to give you some information about somebody in particular from wikipedia now i've found that i found this quite useful when i was doing a blog writing a blog post the other day that you can ask her just to look up something or somebody or tell you about a movie uh, and i'll give you an example elixir Wikipedia Steven Spielberg. Steven Allen Spielberg, KBE Omri, is an American director, producer, and screenwriter. He is considered one of the founding pioneers of the New Hollywood era, as well as being viewed as one of the most popular directors and producers in film history. For details, say, tell me more. Alexa, tell me more. Okay. He is also one of the co-founders of DreamWorks Studios. In a career spanning more than four decades, Spielberg's films have spanned many themes and genres. Spielberg's early science fiction and adventure films, such as Jaws, okay, Alexa, stop. of the Third Kind, Alexa, of the Lost... stop. So there you go. Uh, so you have the power of Wikipedia behind it as well. So you can ask... You know, but George Lucas, John Williams. Um, you can also get movie quotes as well, which I kind of like. Um, Alexa, give me a quote from Star Wars. Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope's quote is "Use the Force, Luke." Then you can also add some fun with the Amazon dot as well. Alexa, may the Force be with you. And with you. Alexa. Execute Order 66. Yes, my lord. Hold on. I'm not a clone trooper. <laughs> I like that one. Alexa, which is better, Star Trek or Star Wars? If I had to choose, I guess I'd say, I can't. It's too hard. They're both so good. Can't we all just live long and prosper while the Force is with us? A very diplomatic answer there. Elixir, I am your father. No, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> so uh, whoever programmed this is obviously a geek and has got uh, a real good sense of humour. There are plenty of these Easter eggs built into it. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, I'm not, unfortunately. I'm the one that doesn't watch it. Um, there are plenty of Game of Thrones Easter eggs. There's also Ghostbusters... Uh, Star Wars, Star Trek. Um, Alexa, I'll be back. Hasta la vista, baby. Terminator, for example. And the other thing you can do as well is you can activate 
um, features on the Amazon Dot as well. Now, I've activated a feature which is Ask a Geek, and it's really good fun. It's a trivia uh, quiz. Alexa, Ask a Geek. Geek Trivia. I will ask you five questions. Try to get as many right as you can. Just say the number of the answer. Let's begin. Dot question one. In Star Trek The Next Generation, what was Data's brother's name? One, Law. Two, Ditter. Three, Scotty. Four, Spot. One. That answer is correct. Your score is one. Question two. Where does the Walking Dead TV series take place? One, Alabama. Two, Georgia. Three, Missouri. Four, Mississippi. Two. That answer is correct. Your score is two. Question three. What is Captain Janeway's first name in Star Trek Voyager? One, Catherine. Two, Lucille. Three, Deanna. Four, Meredith. One. That answer is correct. Your score is three. Question four. In season three, who was a key villain in The Walking Dead? One, Negan. Two, the governor. Three, Merle. Four, Shane. Two. That answer is correct. Your score is four. Question five. In the X-Men movie series, which one of these actors played Professor Charles Xavier? One, Patrick Stewart. Two, Zach Galifianakis. Three, Ian McKellen. Four, Ben Kingley. One. That answer is correct. You got five out of five questions correct. Thank you for playing. So you can have loads of fun with this. I really enjoy doing that on a daily basis and the questions change. And it really keeps itself up to date. I've asked it um, today, for instance, it was announced on BBC that uh, Peter Capaldi is going to step down as Doctor Who. So it really keeps up to date. And uh, Alexa, who is the current Doctor in Doctor Who? Peter Capaldi has announced that the upcoming new series of Doctor Who will be his last. Speaking on Radio 2, he said, I love this, but I don't know how long I can do it and give it my best. And if I'm not giving it my best, I don't want to do it. The new season will start on April 10th and Whovians will be able to bid farewell to the 12th Doctor during the Christmas special later this year. It's really good. I am very impressed with the Amazon Dot. There are a few things that it hasn't got quite right, as I say, with the uh, picking up of your um, track specific tracks with a with a particular name in it and getting john williams 50 percent hit rate between that and the guitarist can be a bit annoying but i've created a playlist so i can make sure that i get all my favorite john williams pieces of music from that playlist as well i would certainly recommend it it's a nice little device to add and you can even change it from elixir to computer so if you're a star trek fan like me you can really feel like you're on the bridge of the Enterprise. So there you go. There's the Amazon Dot. I would recommend it for geek fans and for bearded trio fans as well. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a comment below and hit the like button. And let me know what you'd like me to talk about next on the next episode of Rob's Rambling. That's it for me. Thanks for listening. And until next time, goodbye.